Have you ever pondered the role of wisdom and conscience in shaping our society? If you had to choose, which one would you say is more vital? This is a question that has been stirring up debates recently, and today, we're going to delve into this topic using some recent events as case studies. Let's consider a popular figure, Dong Yu Hui, a former English teacher turned sales anchor. Dong Yu Hui, known for his live sales broadcasts, recently visited museums in Hubei province. His stated intention was to awaken the wisdom of the masses, which stirred up both feverish admiration and some skepticism. Concerns were raised about whether the lighting from his camera equipment could damage the artifacts, as museums generally prohibit photography to prevent such damage. This incident raises questions about the importance of wisdom, in this case, the wisdom to protect cultural heritage, versus the conscience to respect rules and regulations. But the heart of the debate lies elsewhere. The question is, which is more important, awakening the wisdom of the masses or stirring up their conscience? To illustrate this point, consider an incident in Africa where a group of young men gave an AK-47 assault rifle to a chimpanzee. The moment the chimp pulled the trigger, chaos ensued. It's a stark reminder that wisdom, like a firearm, can bring about great harm if not accompanied by a guiding conscience. Take for instance a recent case in Honden where three students committed a heinous crime. These children, who were considered intelligent and high achieving, managed to deceive their principal and teachers, who believed that good academic performance was incompatible with bullying. After committing their crime, they went back to school as if nothing had happened, using their wisdom to try and outsmart the authorities. This case prompts us to question whether we should prioritize fostering wisdom or awakening conscience in our youth. Similarly, at the recent 315 evening party, it was revealed that Dongfang Zhengshuan, where Dong Yuhui is a senior partner, had sold problematic pre-packaged meals. The manufacturers, seemingly wise, had managed to deceive even Dong Yuhui's discerning eye. This raises the question, do these businesses need more wisdom, or should they focus on cultivating their conscience? 2,000 years ago, Laozi told us that ruling a country with wisdom can lead to ruin, while ruling without it can bring about prosperity. Looking at recent events ranging from the Little Yue incident in Foshan to the Peng Yu case in Nanjing and the Handan incident, it's apparent that our immediate task is to awaken conscience rather than stimulate wisdom. In conclusion, wisdom and conscience are both integral aspects of a functioning society. However, as these recent events illustrate, unchecked wisdom, without the guiding hand of conscience, can lead to devastating outcomes. It's a reminder for all of us to not only strive for wisdom, but also to nurture and honor our conscience. Let this be food for thought as we navigate our complex and ever-evolving world. As we continue our exploration, let's turn our attention to Mr. Fan Lin, a renowned philosopher and social commentator. On March 29, 2024, he shared his perspective on this subject matter. He posited that wisdom and conscience are not mutually exclusive but rather intertwined facets of human nature. He emphasized that the development of wisdom is a continuous journey, but it should never outpace our conscience. For as he puts it, a society that values wisdom over conscience is like a ship without a compass. It may move fast, but it doesn't know where it's going. Let's reflect on these profound words as we delve deeper into the balance between wisdom and conscience.